Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, a couple of user requests I want to take uh, take care of right off the top. Um, I don't know if I should call them requests, but a couple of things that people did point out in my uh, in comments left on YouTube, which I'm assuming means they want to see it in videos, or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're just mentioning it. But I figured I'd do them since people mentioned them. Uh, let's see. Yes. Uh, Etoile Angelique uh, 3 de 4, which I believe is French for Star Angel 324, did mention that, yes, you can talk to Simba. Uh, baby Simba here, who is busy playing with Rikish's tail, you can go ahead and talk Simba, which causes the hero, meaning you, your character, to say, Goo Goo Ga Ga Goo, to which Simba responds, Poultry guys make up the principal types of spontaneous material manifestations. And I've been thinking about this line for a while, and... I have to conclude, I really need to agree with, uh, or, I'm sorry, disagree. I really have to disagree with Simba. I kind of have to contest his claim here, because, uh, you know, whenever I look in my fridge, I often see mold just sort of appearing on stuff there that wasn't there a couple of days ago. So, I mean, you know, in my experience, mold is a pretty common spontaneous material manifestation. I'm not sure uh, how many poltergeists I've seen, unless you want to make the claim that uh, that mold is a poltergeist. But uh, i got to disagree with you on that one, Simba. Sorry. I mean, you're, you're, you're a cute baby and all that, but uh, anyway. If you try talking to Simba again, it just says, don't bother, he only tries to show off. So, yeah, a little, uh, I don't know if that's an Easter egg or whatever, but. And one of my loyal viewers, Crowley9, did point out that, um, yes, remember when you first go and see the astrologer, uh, this time he says, welcome, may the star smile upon you, but when we first met him, he asked if we were Hassan. Well, you can ask him about uh, Hassan. Who is Hassan, anyway? Hassan is my lens washer. Wonderful boy, but a bit convexing at times. So besides the cute little pun there on convex lenses, obviously, uh, that also explains why he probably didn't recognize us, because he needs Hassan to wash his uh, lenses. Okay, I think that's it for now, so back to the game. Uh, I'm going to restore to uh, yeah to where we last were, when, which was when we had just fenced the stolen goods at uh, Dinarzads. And there are a couple of places left here in Shapir that we can go to that we haven't uh, seen yet. And one of them uh, is a little bit involved to find. Uh, we've, we've heard of both of them. We've heard both of them mentioned before in the game. And I was kind of torn between which one I wanted to go to first. But I'm going to go see Aziza the Enchantress first. Partly because uh, I don't know how long the other one's going to take. And I want to get back to the Kata's Tale Inn in time to see Omar the Poet tonight. Because remember, Shamin did remind us the Poet Omar is going to be at the Kata's Tale Inn. He will entertain everybody with his wonderful poetry. So... I'm going to see if, how fast I can uh, go to Aziza's place. Aziza, by the way, is at the end of this little street right here. See that? And this, by the way, is another inaccuracy in the hint book. The hint book, sh um, the map in the back of the game's hint book shows Aziza as being at the end of this street here. That's wrong. No, she's at the end of this one. So another inaccuracy, another reason why you shouldn't trust the hint book that uh, was sold separately with the game. Let's see what time is it now. It's midday on day three, so I think I have enough time to go meet Aziza and... Uh, Uh, and just talk to her and be friendly for a little bit. So basically, yeah, I'm going to start... I started off at the Palace Plaza. I'm going to just follow this trail and end up here, so... Also, one funny thing that... Uh, uh, let me show you. Uh, I think we're coming up on it pretty soon. Yeah, it'll be in the next... Uh, the strange noise seems to be coming closer. That strange man bears a striking resemblance to some of the other odd characters you've met around this city. Yeah, I guess it's basically a clown. Clown honking his horn. Uh, I guess that's what uh, Silly Clowns does. Remember when we started the game, I went up here to the menus, and there's this uh, Silly Clowns option, which I turned on and is still on. I guess that's... Uh, Maybe it controls that. I don't know. It always seems to happen at that one intersection right there. I always seem to run into a clown right there in that one spot. So I guess there you go. Now we've seen our silly clown for the game. Okay, continuing on. Uh, Ziza is right. Come on. Come on, get in the door. There we go. Aziza is here. I'm going to save the game. Uh, I'm going to save it as door with eye. Because, in fact, it is a door with an eye on it. The door seems to be watching you. And you can go ahead and try to open the door. If I type open door, you can't open door. Notice that uh, the game doesn't even bother to tell us why you can't get ye flask, and it doesn't 
also use correct grammar it's just as you can't open door tonto shoot white man but you can try to force the door open you can try to um, for example cast an open spell by the way this might be the first time in the game that I'm casting open it, it it occurs to me that I think this might be the first time actually casting a spell in the game so notice that uh, quest for glory 2 and like the first game gives you this nifty little crosshairs that you can use to aim your spells so I can cast open uh, at myself for example good thing you can't hurt yourself like that yeah, um, you can cast spells at yourself, or you can just cast it at the wall. But, of course, we're trying to get into uh, into that door, right? So let's try opening the door. You find that you cannot move. Woman's voice says, I do not welcome those who try to force their entrance into my house. That was exhausting. You don't think you'd survive going through that again. Oh, really? Let's try. Cast open at the door again. Persistence pays off, but this certainly isn't the payoff you had in mind. It's tapped for a, it's taps for a zap zap. Next time, use your head or maybe your knuckles. Yeah, that's a uh, a fairly reasonably strong hint that uh, maybe you should knock. It's just like the healer's house. Let's try knocking on the door. Let's try being nice. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and knock on the door. Woman's voice asks, who is it that seeks to enter? Well, as usual, when you get questions like this, I'm just going to type the, the name of our character, which, of course, is Light Light, in case you've forgotten. Who is it that sent you here? We got sent here by several people, I think. Um, I think first was Rakish, and then there was Keep and Laughin. I'm going to say uh, Keep and Laughin sent us, because they because uh, he, he did tell us to, to come here and see the Enchantress. And... Your answer to that question influences the next question because who you specify as having sent you will uh, uh, prompt a question about that person. What is the element most appropriate to the owner of the magic shop? Well, you remember Keepin' Laughing is all about air, right? He had clouds painted on a ceiling and he had all those uh, pinwheels and he's floating on a cloud. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely an air element kind of person, right? And then we get this little riddle. My first is the first, my second the last. Next comes myself, then back to the end, and beginning again. Who am I? Uh, this probably isn't that tough of a riddle if you think about it for a second. First of all, we already know the Enchantress's name. It's Aziza, because at least a couple of people have told us that. And then if you think about that in terms of the riddle, my first is the first. First letter of the alphabet is A. My second, the last. Last letter of the alphabet is Z, or Z, depending on what country you're from. Next one's myself, that's I, then back to the end, Z, and beginning again. Who am I? So obviously we're supposed to say Aziza. That's pretty straightforward, right? And finally she says, you may enter freely into my home, late blight. And this is Aziza's house. Come in, sit down, and be welcome. And if you try to type sit, then she says, yes, come sit at my table. So you have to actually walk there. And we sit down. Shall we share tea, she asks. Um... Usually when I go and visit somebody at their house, I consider the polite answer to that no, because it's putting people to more trouble if you, um, you know, if you have to have them make tea or coffee for you or whatever. But in Aziza's case, she actually considers that rude. It's actually more polite in her case if you say yes to her question. And Aziza's all about manners. She's really big on manners. Remember, Keep and Laugh and told us that. So I'll say yes. Uh, yes, please, make us, uh, go, go and, uh, and get us some tea, you, uh, you sodden wench. She casts a little spell and some tea appears. The tea is cool and refreshing. You find yourself relaxing as you drink and listen to the sound of flowing water. Now that we have shared tea, what is it for which you have come? Oh, I've come here for many things. I think you can uh, guess. Okay, I'm going to save the game here. Uh, partly because I'm running out of time on this video and I want to allocate lots of time here. Uh, I'm going to say Met Aziza. Okay. Aziza has lots of things to say. We will probably spend more time talking to this one character than any other single character in the game. She has a lot of information. She's she's really smart. She's kind of uh, kind of encyclopedic in her knowledge of various things. And she actually uses visual aids, which are really cool. We'll see the visual aids soon. So, so uh, yeah, we're going to have lots of fun looking around here and talking to Aziza. But I'm going to stop the video here, and we'll resume next time. I hope you've enjoyed meeting Aziza, and we will... Uh, continue learning more about her and her craft, etc. Uh, later on. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you later.